Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inya Zalea, and today I'm calling you from the year 2025. Here they have invented hologram on your smartphone, which is really cool. But while you're still in 2018, I will explain you how to do this effect in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started right after this. <laughs> Alright, so that's a pretty cool effect. Let's jump in Adobe After Effects and see how this is done. Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and what I've done is I recorded this scene here where I'm actually playing a video that I prepared, I put it enlisted and yeah, I'm just recording it right here. Apart from that, I also have my video itself right here. So this is the video and what I will do is go into my main composition here. The first thing that I want to do is actually duplicate my original footage. So we go to edit, duplicate. And then what I want to do is actually mask out my screen here. So let's go all the way till the end and then go over here to the pen tool, zoom in a little bit and just select this area doesn't need to be perfect it's just to capture the illumination of my phone and I know it's broken it's terrible I've been running around with this phone for a year so yeah it's a hard time and I didn't even break it that's that's the worst you know I always take care of my devices but yeah in this case someone just threw it on the floor all right so what I've done here is I tracked it backwards uh, with the tracker tool if you mask something you can actually track it backwards right here um, sorry for not mentioning that and once in a while you can just pause this and just refine your mask and let it run all right so in this case manual might be the better option so just make sure that your mask is only capturing the screen the reason why is because i have a quite illuminated video and we only want to capture the illumination of our screen right here so i'm going to solo this layer and then you'll see that we have something like this of only the screen displaying of course yeah sometimes it leaks through it's not a terrible thing uh, to happen so i'm just going to keep it as it is right here i'm going to unsolo that layer and i'm going for layer pre-compose Move all the attributes and we're going to just rename this to Illumination. Illumination screen, click OK and there we have it. Next what I want to do is click on my original scene and go for track camera. In the track camera I'm just going to pop up the advanced mode and just check the detailed analysis that will maybe make a better job at tracking the entire scene. I put some things in my scene like my wallet and this stuff around here just to make sure that the scene is tracking well because we're playing a video and it's a very reflective screen so this is terrible to track that's why I'm going to use different things as a reference in my scene to make sure that the analyzing uh, is going well. So in between every break I put this right here because otherwise I wouldn't be able to record this tutorial. I have to take breaks in between the tutorial to just freshen up a little bit. It's terrible out here. It's super, super hot. I don't have air conditioning, but I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> so, okay. All right, so our tracking has been done and as you can see, we have some points uh, that analyze our screen. So what I'll do is just select these points by just dragging around them and then just right click and go for, well actually I'm just going to record the bigger ones right here uh, just to make sure that my tracking is a little bit better. When you see that this circle kind of looks right, we can right click and create a null and camera. Once you've done that, uh, we are going to create a new adjustment layer or actually we're going to use our elimination screen, I'm sorry. We're going to use that elimination screen and set it to screen. So that's going to brighten this area up a little bit, um, but we only need to have this fade in right over here so we're going to press T on the keyboard and I'll go for the opacity once I played my video and when it's going away when the video is actually brightened up right here we're going to click on the stopwatch for the opacity go back a few keyframes and just set this at zero we can also press F on the keyboard uh, right here in the composition F on the keyboard to kind of fade it out a little bit 25 should be great and then it shouldn't be as obvious but now we have this kind of uh, screen illuminator right here what I want to do is use this as reference and kind of brighten up the hologram light rays. So what I'll do is go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC, Radial, Fast Blur and set it to Brightest. Now I'm going to Alt-click on the center 
and just drag this to our node. Then at the end, I'm going to press dot to comp, open parentheses, open bracket, zero comma zero comma zero, close bracket, close parentheses, and dot comma, there we go. And now we have these light rays. And if we're going to use this tracking null, I'm actually going to duplicate it first. Right click, duplicate, this is the secondary. We can use this null, reposition it, maybe put a little bit more in the background. Next we go on the composition layer that is our illumination and we just will increase our amount to something like 95. And immediately you'll see something like this, pretty awesome. So we'll take our null and just reposition it until you're satisfied, maybe a little bit more backwards so you have frontal kind of illumination. But as you can see, it kind of fades in just like this. Really cool. You can always go into effects, color correction and curves and apply some curves on that layer to make it pop a little bit more, just like an S curve, just like this one. And that looks about right. Okay, so next what we want to do is a very simple, uh, we just go to project and we'll import our original video that you see right here on the screen. So this is my video here, I'm talking to the camera, I'm going to make it, um, well press T on the keyboard, make it 50% opacity and then I'm also going to make it a little bit smaller. So what I want to do is actually look at my video right here and see when uh, my outro is going on so we can actually match our time. So right here my outro is starting. So what I'll do is kind of offset this until it starts. And there we go. So now it's a perfect timing and there we go. So what I want to do again is go to our first track, uh, the secondary null here, press P on the keyboard. We want to copy the 3D information. So if we toggle the switches, you'll see that this is a 3D layer because it tracked our camera in 3D. So click on the position, control C, then go over here and just make it a 3D layer as well. Press P on the keyboard and click on the position and press control V. And now we have this com uh, completely copied. So um, that's our video. What we will have to do is press W um, on the keyboard and just rotate our video until we're satisfied with the actual result. So we have to make it look like it's popping out. So we have the right angle here. I'm going to rotate it a little bit more like this. Reposition it over here. Make it bigger. And we'll have to rotate it like that as well. And then move it up and move it forward and maybe make it a little bit bigger. Press C on the keyboard and set it to 75. So we have some transparency, but not too much. Maybe 65 will give it an even more realistic uh, look. But immediately you'll see that it follows our scene because we actually tracked it in 3D. So that's really cool. One more thing that I like to do is actually duplicate this and again go to position and uh, paste it again and then just rotate it just like this and move it forward. Move this in position. And there we go. And then we're going to apply an effect blur and sharpen Gaussian blur. Something like 50 or even 100. And there we go. And then we're going to lower the opacity to something like 15. And we're also going to click on our pen tool to mask out the top part here. So we're going to make a mask like this. Press F on the keyboard, subtract our mask and just increase the feather. So it kind of has a, has a fade out reflection on the floor here. So that's perfect. And then all the way at the beginning, what we want to do is click on these two layers here. Press S on the keyboard and we're going to click on the stopwatch for the scale right here and we're actually going to move them a little bit more forward and just put them to zero right here so i didn't play my video here but right here we'll start playing the video so right here it starts playing the video and boom it scales up perfect so i'm going to select my last keyframes right click keyframe assistance and no easy ease and i'm going to open up my graph editor and just kind of draw them in so tuck these in for a smoother animation 
And there we have it. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I I'm also going to animate the opacity here to make it a little bit more realistic. So press T on the keyboard, click on stopwatch for the opacity, press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes, go to the first keyframe and set it to zero. So right here, we will animate it like this, perfect. We can also apply a little blur effect to make it even more realistic. So we are kind of stacking everything together. So on this layer that is um, right here, the, the layer that we're going to see over here, we go to effect blur and sharpen Gaussian blur. We're just going to increase the blur so it's not really visible um, like so. And then at the beginning, we'll create that keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch, go to the last keyframe, set it to zero. So now it's sharp. If we're going to play this, it's going to... Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm kind of analyze it together, which is pretty cool. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm a... Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ian Zalea, and today I'm... Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ian Zalea, and today I'm calling you from the... Okay, so that's really cool. One thing that I like to do is kind of take my screen el elimination and put it on the top. So it kind of goes through the video, making it uh, blend in a little bit better. So it looks like it's actually illuminating by this uh, illumination uh, channel. So uh, maybe play a little bit more with the opacity here. So now it's set at 65, maybe 75 will be a little bit better. So we can actually see it a little bit better uh, and also bring this over here. So, okay. Um, and then lastly, what you can do is apply an adjustment layer, put it on top, and go for Lumetri Color, apply it to your adjustment layer, and go for the Creative tab and browse for a look. And just lower the Creative the intensity, uh, intensity to something like 35 and if we're going to untitle this this is one of our lids of our look back so uh, it's pretty cool um, I will put a link in the description if you're interested in that um, but maybe increases it uh, the contrast a little bit and lower the highlights just a touch and there we go we have a nice video okay one thing that I'll do is just go to the center and just get my skin tones back here so I'm going to draw a little mask here and press subtract and feather it To give it a little bit more contrast okay so it stands out quite nicely and there we have it so this is the final result hey what's up ladies and gentlemen i'm inya zalea and today i'm calling you from the year 2025 here they have invented hologram on your smartphone which is really cool but while you're still in 2018 i will explain you how to do this effect in adobe after effects so let's get started right after this <laughs> Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you stay notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists to make your job easier. Links will be in the description. And apart from all this, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.